everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm just going to be laying down some paints and doing some schmears and tipping. We'll just see what happens here. But uh, all my paint today is mixed seven part mix to one part paint. So let's go over. I have my base coat down of the artist, or I'm sorry, of the Amsterdam Titanium White. My colors I'm using are the Por Porage Posse Snow White uh, Desert Iridescent Pearl and Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. My next one is a paint called Mysterious that I mixed up myself. My next one is Arteza Bordeaux Red. My next paint is Amsterdam Paints Gray and Prussian Blue combination. My next one is Liquitex Basic Silver. My next paint is Golden Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Copper Fine. I just have a little bit of that left, so I'm not sure how much will go on the painting. And the last one is Liquitex Basic Stacks Zine Purple. They're all in the squirt bottles. And like I said, seven parts mix, uh, one part paint, and I don't think I added much water at all to these. But like I said, what I'm going to do is just lay down some paint, have a little fun with it, and then uh, do a schmear. And my schmear color is Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I mix that two and a half parts to one part of the Australian Floetrol. And then I did add about five drops, and I will show you, of the Josana varnish. And there's that product. And this is the first time I'm going to try this. I watched Becky Selman. Uh, this was her idea. I watched a video of hers yesterday, and she added that product to her cell activator swipe color and um, it was really good results the lacing was really nice and fine and so I thought why not give it a try put some paint up in there too My silver looks a little bit thin there. Okay, got all my paints down for now. So this is the container that I mixed my cell activator in. Again, that's the Australian Floetrol, two and a half parts to one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I think what I'm going to do is use my little palette knife and just dip it, dip it in that cell activator and then we'll do some smearing. And I will clean off between each smear my palette knife there. A little more paint to do here. Okay, it's gonna give that a minute to react. It's really pretty in here with that Bordeaux red. I 
And in fact, I think I might lay down just a little bit more of that Bordeaux red in here. And do one more little smear. See if I get any to come up. And I will uh, give it a torch. See what we have going on here. And since my base coat was so thin, I'm going to add a little bit of paint here and there. Just to help that paint move when I go to tip. Okay, let's do a little tipping and see if we get anything with this. You can see the silver was very thin and it is running quite a bit faster than the other paints. Trying to stretch things out a little bit. Looking good to me. Very good. I'll try this way. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Let's leave my hands off a second. I'm use my skewer a little bit. Just add a little interest here. Try and cover this with white here.
that's better. Don't be afraid to play with your painting a little bit. Notice I'm cleaning off my little skewer after each time that I put it through the paint. really pretty areas here. I have to say that um, using that Josanya varnish really did help with the, the cells here. They, they really look nice in this area, this area, pretty here, really nice here. Just adding a little interest here and there. And I will give it another torch. Just a little bit this way. Okay. And I'm going to get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody here we are for a close-up and I am showing you the whole painting here again this is a 12 by 16 inch painting um, that I just laid the paints down did some smears some tipping and used the cell activator with the Australian Floetrol and some very very pretty interesting areas here you can see how the mix is trans lets the transparency come up from different layers. Excuse me for being so shaky there. Here's a nice area. That lacing is so pretty. And here, here's where I just added a few swirlies. This is the lower left-hand corner. I'll take you over the whole painting here. Again, a few swirlies that I made. Nice in here. And orientation-wise, I think this is the way I would want it to hang. Love the colors up in there red. I really like the red and I like purple too. Very nice up in there. Just a lot going on for this little painting here. Here's the lower right hand corner. 
and just up the right hand side now. I just really love the effects that I got here today. Again, that red, beautiful. This is really pretty up in here. This is the upper right hand corner. Okay, let me know what you think of this little video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it with any uh, artist friends that you think may like to watch this process. Uh, ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider to help my channel grow. And again, I want to give a shout out to Becky Salman, that's S-E-L-M-A-N, um, for the idea of using that Josana uh, varnish, gloss varnish, in the uh, cell activator. I think it really did add a little bit to it. So thank you, Becky. Thanks for spending time with me today. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.